Conventional method of genomic DNA or gDNA extraction using penal chloroform utilize detergents such as sodium dodecyl sulfate SDS or cetyl trimethyl ammonium bromide CTAB for cell lysis. After cell lysis, penal chloroform isoamyl alcohol is added to separate lipids and other proteins into the organic base and the gDNA into the aqueous base. After centrifugation, the aqueous base containing the gDNA is transferred to a clean tube for precipitation using sodium acetate and ethanol. Precipitated gDNA is pelleted by centrifugation and eluted using trace edda or TE buffer. Penal chloroform DNA extraction method can be used using various samples including animal blood, plant tissues, fungal samples, and bacterial cells. The objectives for this activity are to learn how to extract genomic DNA using penal chloroform and to describe the principle behind the liquid-liquid extraction method. The materials include bacterial culture in broad media, 1.5 ml microcentrifuge tubes or Eppendorp tubes, microcentrifuge tube rocks, refrigerated centrifuge, micropipettes and pipette tips, ice bucket, lysis buffer, RNAs, 10% sodium dodecyl sulfate, SDS, proteinase K, 3 molar sodium acetate, 70% and 100% ethanol, penal chloroform isoamyl alcohol, and trace edda or TE buffer. Common reagents used in penal chloroform DNA extraction include lysis buffer, used for cell membrane and nuclear membrane lysis. It maintains the pH of the solution and maintains DNA integrity. RNAs, which degrades contaminating RNA. Sodium dodecyl sulfate, which solubilizes cell membrane and denatures contaminating proteins. Proteinase K, for digestion of contaminating proteins, DNases, and RNases. Penal chloroform isoamyl alcohol used to separate proteins into the organic layer and the DNA into the aqueous layer. Penal dissolves proteins while chloroform dissolves the DNA. Isoamyl alcohol prevents emulsification or foaming of the reaction. Sodium acetate and 100% ethanol for DNA precipitation 70% ethanol to wash excess salts from the extracted DNA and trace edda or TE buffer used to dissolve the extracted DNA and prevents DNA degradation by chelating metal ions which are used as cofactors for DNAs and RNAs activity. For the penal chloroform method, there are eight distinct steps 1. Cell collection 2. Cell resuspension 3. Cell lysis 4. Separation of DNA from other biomolecules 5. Protein denaturation 6. DNA precipitation 7. Washing of DNA and 8. Elution of extracted DNA For step 1, collect 1.5 ml of bacterial suspension from the broad culture using microcentrifuge tubes and spin at 12,000 G for 2 minutes. After centrifugation, 
discard the supernatant. For step 2, add 700 microlith lysis buffer into the cell pellet and resuspend cells by pipetting in and out. Then add 10 microlith RNAs. Incubate at 37 degrees Celsius for one hour. This will degrade RNA that will contaminate the DNA extract. For step three, add 10 microlith proteinase K to cell suspension vortex or pipette to mix incubate at 50 degrees celsius overnight this will lyse the bacterial cell wall releasing the cytoplasmic contents for step 4 add 700 microlit of penal chloroform isoamyl alcohol and mix well by inverting the tube this will separate the lipids and cellular debris containing proteins into the organic phase, the bottom part of the solution, and the DNA into the upper aqueous phase. Centrifuge at 13,000 RPM for 10 minutes. Pipette aqueous phase and transfer into a fresh tube. Repeat step 4 twice. For step 5, add 700 microlit chloroform and mix well. This will enhance the denaturation of the remaining proteins, phenols, and lipids in the solution. Chloroform also enhances the separation of the organic base and aqueous base, which contains the DNA. Centrifuge at 13,000 RPM for 10 minutes. Pipette the aqueous space and transfer into a new tube. Repeat for one time. For step 6, add one tenth volume of 3 molar sodium acetate. Then add 2 volumes of 100% ethanol. DNA will start to precipitate immediately after mixing. Incubate at a negative 70 degrees Celsius for one day to further enhance the precipitation. After incubation, centrifuge at 13,000 RPM for 30 minutes at 4 degrees Celsius, then discard the supernatant. For step 7, wash the DNA precipitate with 70% ethanol. Centrifuge at 13,000 RPM for 10 minutes, then discard the supernatant. Remove the remaining ethanol using pipette. Air dry at room temperature. For the final step, add 200 microlit of TE buffer or nuclease free water. Tris edta or TE buffer dissolves the DNA and protects it from degradation by DNAs or RNAs. Store the extracted GDNA in 4 degrees, negative 20 or negative 80 degrees Celsius. This is an actual result showing genomic DNA extracted from bacterial culture using the penal chloroform method. The gDNA shows crown-like appearance which indicates high-quality DNA with minimal degradation. The gDNA is commonly observed above the highest band in the DNA ladder, which is only about 10,000 base pairs. This result shows low quality gDNA showing smears, which indicate DNA degradation or penal chloroform contamination. Low quality DNA can significantly affect downstream applications such as PCR.